two teams on the offensive end. One playing at the rim, the other one not being able to score at the rim. If they have some success, I would expect to see more because it slows Houston down and it makes them make perimeter jump shots. And it's culture. It's the way this team bought in from really going. He said, look, we have six guys who can score 20. Central Frota can knock some of that momentum and get a score. Fuller, long two. And him out with five on the shot clock. He's with the transfer portal. A lot of a lot of the kids that are playing tonight, they didn't have a second chance. They, you know, and you know, this is a work in progress for Johnny Dawkins, and he knows it. You know, they're, they're tonight like they've been scoring for this team. Smith taking an outside shot again and missed it. match I would go back and I would put Harris on Smith because these teams on win streaks Duke's won six in a row Miami's won five in a row 80 Eastern five Pacific on ESPN and the ESPN app this the hey Jesus has been really good he's got 10 first half points if they try to sub them in real quick here if not I look for Ingram get them
up a coach for the of the SEC or if you're just a casual college basketball fan. 63, or excuse me, 65 second half points. Go like this. Here's it. Nice catch. Dives through the fast stretch. Here's the middle lineup change for Wednesday. Field goal. Jarreau's got a season high 16. Now Hinton blocked it. Oh. Hinton drives it, floats it over. Hits it. So you've got to be there on the catch. Feet above the line as it relates to Korea. Hits it off the bounce. 12 minutes to play here in the first half. This is where Houston has to improve when they have to play from the stop. Yeah, you have to have good balance. And he was still running into that shot. He was so excited. A lot of other guys were getting in on the act, as you said. Still a team that's trying to figure out who's going to get the ball and what's it. Yeah, it's that time on the weak side. Hitting quick triggers. In the nation. By the 12 minute mark, we were wondering if they could keep it up, and they have. They have picked up the physicality. Nate Hinton is one of the most high energy, high motor prospects in the draft. At 6'5", 210, Hinton routinely guarded multiple positions, made excellent rotations, and made his mark on the court in more ways than the stat sheet could show. The thing that jumps off the page statistically with Hinton is his nearly 9 rebounds a game. It's not talked about often, but someone who crashes the glass like that is tough to guard even when they're not a true offensive threat. Hinton is somebody I would never bet against becoming a viable NBA role player. And you know